Hello, I'm Bud FM and welcome to episode 15 of my Manchester Central series. As always, thanks for joining me. I really, really, really do appreciate it. You're a legend. Why you're here, why not smash the like button. Hashtag help a bood. It really does help me, my channel and the episode out. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. Come and join the family. Uh, I've just recently gone over 4K. I'm nearly on 4.1, which is amazing. Like, truly is amazing. And I really believe my dream of 5K, that's all I thought. It was a pipe dream. It's going to be a reality, surely. Hopefully when the new game comes out, um, it's going to be a reality because I'm going to do lots of new content when uh, the new game comes out. Uh, I'm going to do a beta series, which I've never done before. Um, and I'll tell you that's going to be with, it's going to be Man United. Yep, I'm going to do a season two with Manchester United when the game first comes out. Because I've seen a million Manchester United series by people from Cheltenham, Gloucestershire, Isle of Man, random places. I'm an actual Mancunian United fan, so I think it's about time I did it. Um, so yeah, that should be fun. And then obviously I've got a long-term save coming next year with a lower league team. And we'll do all my guides as well and loads of fun databases. So I'm excited because they have actually released, haven't they? The uh, release date for the game. Quite cool. I'll talk a bit more about that later. Um, I just want to show you as well, my best friend, Manx7, uh, treated him to a shirt. I bought this for me. I'm loving this top. I tell you, the stuff from the club shop is amazing. Um, but Manx7, he's been so helpful this year. He's done so much for me, audio and so on. I thought I'd treat him, so I bought him a shirt. He's decided to look like a Mexican wrestler, but that's up to him. That is up to him. Right, we have got a huge, huge, huge episode today. You know it's going to be a double live comp against Sporting Lisbon in the Champions League. Well, if you check the title out, you might wonder, what does a triple bit mean? Well, it's going to be a triple live comp. I've never done this before, but something's happened and we've got to share it together. Right, let's get started. First game was the FA Cup replay against Nottingham Forest. I stuck with my B team, reserve team, um, and they did a job on them 3-0. We absolutely battered Forest. We deserved it, and we go through to the fourth round. Next game was pretty disappointing, really. Everton, the champions of England, don't get me wrong, but we batted them in the Community Shield. We battered them at home in the, at the Sabret. But they battered us. They deserved this. We didn't deserve nothing from this game, and we got beat by the champions. 3-0. After that though was the first leg of the semi-final against Jamie Vardy and his Leicester team. I stuck with the boys who've got us this far, the reserve slash B team again, um, and we deserved it. I really do think we deserved it, we probably should have scored more, so I was happy with this. But was even happier with this, eh? Premier League, Swansea aren't the best, don't get me wrong. Uh, and this team that played in this game were proper fresh as well, so they just they levered him. Ian Moss was fantastic, Shelley was great, uh, Gamma wasn't very good. Um, but yeah, dominated it, deserved it, brilliant. Then it was the second leg of the semi-final and this result is the reason why we're having three live comms today because obviously we've got the League Cup final now and it's right in the middle of the Champions League. So I want to show you all of it. I can't not share the final with you. Um, we won one nil, a Ronnie goal. We were pretty lucky really to be fair. Next game we stayed in a cup competition. It was the FA Cup fourth round against Bournemouth. Uh, we beat them 2-0, should have been more again. Shelley, Lammers, Lammers, man of the match. He was awesome. Back to the Premier League and Southampton came to the Subret Dalton and we battered them 3-1. Uh, I was really happy because Edison Ganner, who's been a bit off, scored an hat-trick. I wasn't happy though that the general got injured. He's my best centre-half. He's out for a while now. Hopefully it doesn't affect us too much. In the next game, he was on TV and Spurs came to the Subret Dalton. Spurs are still a decent side. Uh, but we beat them 3-1. It was pretty even, don't get me wrong, but we just edged it. We just had that little bit more class. But then the start of some troubles, really, um, where we're going to drop some points. And we drew at Anfield 1-1 against a very good Liverpool team. It's still a good side, even though they lost their best player in the summer. It was dead even. It, it, it deserved to be a draw, to be fair. This game, though, I was gutted with. Bang even again. Now, I B-teamed it. And there's a reason why I B-teamed it. Not just because I just feel down at the bottom. But you'll see why in a minute. But I B teamed it as a test, really. Uh, we lost a young, a young striker as well, a uh, guy I bought in the summer. Yeah, it's kind of made me worry a little bit. In the last game, it was the FA Cup fifth round. Spurs came back up to the Subret Dahl and went back home again, gutted. We beat them 3 0. Even game, but again, we just had that little bit more class. Well, yeah, we've got Uddersfield, and that's why I did a bit of a test against them with my reserve slash B team to see how well we'd do, and we drew. 
So it's going to hopefully make this final interesting because the same team are going to play today. Um, and I love Huddersfield. You'll probably know, but my big series last year was called Booed in the Hood with Huddersfield. My wife's from Huddersfield, so makes the cup final a little bit more special. And staying on the theme of Huddersfield, we've drawn them in the sixth round of the FA Cup. I definitely won't be B-team in this, hopefully, because I'm starting to feel like we're going to win a couple of trophies this year. Of course it is, because we've drawn our last two Premier League games. We've got beat up Everton recently. Uh, Chelsea are now top of the league. Uh, Everton are fifth. It's, it's, it is mental, right? So you've got Chelsea on 59. We're on 59. So we bang level. They've just got a better four-goal difference than we have. Uh, City in third. Arsenal United are in sixth. It's gone from me thinking we're going to walk this, because at one point we were, weren't we? Um, so now thinking a bit more challenging and a bit more interesting. Last time we checked this, we were top of the goal scoring charts and we still are uh, by five goals. So uh, we always score goals. We've never not been able to score goals. It's my tactic, it's a way of play. We're good at, go we're good at scoring goals. But at the start of this year, we were brilliant at defending. Yeah, now that has slipped quite a bit. We're fourth, but there's a big difference between us and Man City, weren't there? And we were really good until then two defeats when we let in like 11 goals in two games. I'm a bit worried about it. Now we're here on the finances page and you're going to look straight up there and see we are in debt by 38 million, all right? I have overspent a bit here because there's a storyline coming up in the summer, all right? I won't spoil it for you. It's going to be a special episode and it'll reveal what's going to happen to me and the club next year. But when January was around, I thought, let's do some preparation. So I've kind of bought some good young players, a couple of wonder kids. Now I've already got some good young players. We've got about four really good young players. Remember I bought a couple of 17, 18 year olds in the summer. And I just thought, let's buy some good young players. Let's get that youth built up. Even if it cost me a fortune, I don't care. And you'll see why at the end of the year. And so I've been scouting, I always scout. We've got a great list together. And I found this kid called Marcio Jose, or Jose. Uh, loads of potential. And then the last player was an 18 year old called Zvonimir Buljan, Croatian. Uh, bought him from Dynamo. Uh, he's an attacking midfielder, but I'm training to become a bit more central again. Uh, I think he could become good. I've loaned him back out. He's got loads of potential, don't get me wrong, he's a wonder kid. Um, but we've loaned him straight back out to Fiorentina. Right, let's get into it. First game in Sporting Lisbon, away in Portugal. Yeah, so only the first round knockout of the Champions League, but I want to do well in this this year. I want to win a big trophy. So here we are with the match preview for this first game. Um, and I'm really excited, I can't lie. We're playing in the AC Milan, uh, black and red. Now we're the favourites with the bookies, but they're in the better form apparently. <laughs> Onto the team lineups and we're here at the, I can't say the name of the stadium. Fair play if you can, but when you see the picture of it behind me, it's lovely, well nice stadium. Uh, now I'm going to be calm, I'm going to be chill that one. Uh, let's find it, calm, here we are. It's over to you now lads, have a good one tonight. No greens, but I think that might be all right. Right, here we go, come on, I love this. I do, I love European nights. This is where this team and club belong in the Champions League. I want at least to get to the semi-final, so. <laughs> Sporting Lisbon, don't get me wrong, they're a great team from Portugal, but we're better and we should be getting through. Yeah, do you like my new shirt? It is lovely, I'm not lying. I'd never heard of her ABEC until I started doing this series and got involved in Manchester Central. And you think it's going to be a cheap brand, and it might be. You know, they're not the biggest company, but the quality. Anyone who's won a shirt, I'd write down in the comments. They'll let you know how comfy these things are. I mean, like I said, I bought Mike 7 one, and he put it on, and he was like, wow, this is lovely. I was like, I know, it's nice, isn't it? Come on, boys, come on. Easy, easy goal. Shocking defending from Lisbon. Corner ball again, chalk it, take it. It's going to happen, oh it's poor mate, but he's picked it back up. Give it to Santa Cruz, hit it mate. Oh, give the lads some encouragement. Encouragement, that's what I'm shouting from the sideline. So yeah, release date for FM uh, 19's out, 2nd of November. They don't normally do that. It's made me think though, does that mean they've got the game wrapped up? They're, not, they're not happy with the game, they can give us a release date. I'm worried that it's going to be one of them years where it's just an updated database version, nothing new. Well, I'm a cheeky pass to Shelley. Shelley, oh, gamma, 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 chameleon. Oh, it's offside. Well then, apparently, according to the commentator, it's been a great game. And it's not been bad, they've had more of the ball, we've had way more chances, and we're winning 1-0. Right, I'm going to be uh, assertive, I think. And please, keep it going. There you go, all greens. 
Come on, Central. There we go, Lisbon, kick off the second half. If you've been enjoying this episode, don't forget to hit the like button. It does help me. I know I go on about it quite a bit. I've said this quite a lot. Um, but we have to do on YouTube. It's how people find your um, it's how people find your episodes and your channel. Things get more likes and more comments. More people see it. Your channel grows. Do you know what I mean? Right, half an hour ago, nothing's happening. Nothing. I'm going to demand a bit more. I'd like that second goal, just for that bit of a cushion. Take two away goals with us back home to Manchester. I'd be really happy with that. Uh, I think I might make a sub after this highlight. Here we go. Ian Moss. Oh! Right, I'm making three changes. Uh, Shelley's off because he's on a yellow for Maida. Uh, Alonso's coming on for Chalky because Chalky's knackered. Uh, and Esquitini's coming on for the general because he's not fully fit. Right, 20 minutes to go. Lisbon have got... Wow, that was bloody close. Come on, boys. Sosa on the edge of the box for Lisbon to Ribeiro. Takes it out wide on the left. Gives it straight to O'Donnell. Easy peasy. Right, let's give him a concentrate, lads. Let's not concede. I mean... I want even more, I'll be honest with you. But I'll take a win. I'll take it. Here come Lisbon now. They've found us another game, aren't they, late on in this game? Donkey. Gomez, donkey. And that's it, full time. Happy days. I'd like more goals. But at least we didn't concede. We've got an away goal. We've got a victory. Hopefully we can just boss them at the subreddit. There you go. It is up. Technically, it's only our time, mate. I'm going to stay calm. Just say a good win. Loads of green. Got a cup final now. Right then, on to the second live comp. And it's the League Cup final. It's uh, probably the first major trophy. You know, it's the first major trophy I won as central manager. Um, when we come up to the Premier League, obviously we had a few, few years of doing nothing. I think it was the first cup I won, so it's a special cup to me. It'd be nice to win it again. On to the match preview, and again we're playing in our red and black kit. Uh, Huddersfield have got their home kit on. We're the Bucky's favourites, we're in better form. Um, it's going to rain as well, which you know I love a lot. And yeah, I mean, I know it's the Mickey Mouse Cup. It's the cup no one's really bothered about. But it's still important to me. It's silverware in the trophy cabinet. It's a day at Wembley for the guys, for the fans. And you know, you don't want to lose a cup final. I lost the Europa League final and it hurts. So we're going to hopefully, hopefully not lose this. Firstly, congratulations on reaching an hour final. Yeah, thanks mate. Uh, great day, hopefully, for the fans, for the lads. Um, it's always good coming to Wembley, no matter what the occasion is. So yeah, everyone's excited. Having always played your reserve team in this competition, are you planning to stick with that team or are you going to play your strongest 11? Um, sticking with them. I mean, some people call them a reserve team. I've, I've been known to call them a B team. They're, they're just the so-called players, more the backup, you know, the squad players. Um, but we said at the start of the year we were going to stick with them in this tournament, no matter what. And they've got us all the way to the final. Um, I know a lot of people have been saying they should just pick my best team and try and win it. But these are the lads who've got us here, so I think they deserve to start. They deserve a day out at Wembley. Um, so, yeah. I'm looking forward to it. And I believe in every one of my players, so I think we can still win. It's been well documented that you have a soft spot for Huddersfield Town, having managed them in a previous life. Any divided loyalties today? No, none. None at all. Um, everyone knows if you cut me open, I bleed black and white, central through and through. Um, but I was manager of Huddersfield on FM17, booed in the hood. Check it out. Great series. Um, so I, love, I love that club. My wife's from Huddersfield. I go to Huddersfield regular. Um, love the club, love the fans, love the town. Um, but yeah, no divided loyalties. Although, playing a team that I love in the final makes it that little bit more special. And is there any truth to the rumours that you've had an inflatable sheep vending machine installed at the club training ground? Yeah, uh, I won't say who it is. One of the lads paid for it. It's a bit of a Mickey take because we're playing Huddersfield from Yorkshire. Everyone calls them sheep shaggers. So yeah, the lads have been uh, jumping around with inflatable sheep. I did catch Chalky actually shagging one of them. Um, so we've had to give him a fine because he had his penis out on the training ground. So, yeah, it's true. After a previous rumour about a relationship between yourself and former player Andy Hussey, is there any truth in the rumour that the club shop have partnered with Lego to bring out a limited edition Bud and Hussey commemorative glory hole toilet set? Yeah, uh, I mean, this Hussey thing, it's its not real, but this story keep, keeps on going, doesn't it? People like you keep giving it legs. Uh, and I have heard that Lego have brought out a special glory hole set to commemorate my love for Hussey. Um, but it's a lie. I don't like Hussey. I love pussy. Welcome to Wembley Stadium in London. And this is massive. 
I am so excited for this cup final. Um, now, a few of my B team players are injured. Labras is out, Escutini's out. Um, so Colorado's got to play. Uh, Ian Moss has got to play. Kaysler Hayford's injured as well. He would have got a game. So I'm going to be playing Jose, my new Brazilian wonder kid. Right, here we are in the changing room. I don't know if I want to put pressure on him or not. I might have to stay calm again. Uh, we're favourites for a reason, got them. That's it. Do it, boys. Everyone's listening to me. That's all that matters. Come on, here we go. Mr. Butterfield and his Huddersfield team. National anthem's getting played. Exciting. I throw in Robbo. We back up left. Back. Here's Alonso. Oh, that was a Brazilian, wasn't it? Corner ball. Moss to take it. That, Moss should be like stepping up and showing everyone. Look, I know I'm one of the big guys here. This is how you do it. He's partnered by Foreman. I love Lewis Foreman. There he is now on the ball. Cheeky free kick. Oh, oh, come on. Oh. So yeah, are you excited for FM19? Because this is the time of year when our YouTube channel starts to die, unless you're a big channel. Um, views go down and everything. People stop playing it. Um, I'm going to bring out a video soon where I'll give you three challenges. It's going to have three teams that might spark you wanting to play Football Manager again. Give that little bit of a passion for the game back, hopefully. Um, that should be out maybe next week, I think. I never stop playing. I play it all year. I play this game up until the new one comes out and I just jump ship straight to the new game. But are you looking forward to it? Because I am. Can't wait. Oh, come on, boys. That will just be on the attack. Dal's going to pick it up now on the right. I don't like this. I don't like it, but he missed it. At the end of the first half, um, we're having more of the ball, more chances. But it's nil-nil. Yeah. Come on. I'm starting to get a little bit nervous. And it's absolutely pissing down with rain. It's time to get a bit serious, I think. Assertive. Uh, we can still win this. Keep working hard. Keep doing it, boys. No greens again. That will just feel kick off the second half. As most of you know, by the way, I'm a bus driver these days. Um, the other day, a man just got me bus. I uh, won't let him up. He won't pay. Just sat down. Um, and I, I won't move. I said, I'm not moving anywhere. Oh, jeez. I'm not moving anywhere. So you get off. He went, just let me on for free. He went, no. So he just snaps on me. Oh, Ronnie's injured. Ronnie. Anyway, he snaps on me, right? And goes, I hope you burn to death. Thank you. Thank you very much. That's what I have to deal with. Anyway, Ronnie's injured. I don't know what I'm going to do. I put kids on the bench dinner. Do you know what I'm going to do? I've got Mario White. Do you remember him? Pre season, scored loads of goals. It's your time to shine, kid. So, yeah, someone hoped that I burned alive just because I won't let him on for free. Oh, go on. Oh, get in. Get in. Colorado. Big time player. Big time game. It does make me laugh how people just expect freebies from you because you're on a bus. Why? Do you go to McDonald's and say, oh, I've got no money? Can I have a free burger? No, they tell you to piss off. Do you go on JD Sports and say, oh, I've got no money. Can I have some Nike Air trainers? They say, no. So why do people always expect, I'm just getting the bus for free? No. And then when you say no, they get full on abuse you. Baffles me. Maida charging forward, trying to find Jose. Marcio Jose, the young Brazilian. Can he find Maida? He does. Perfect. Perfect. 2 0. Put our name on that trophy. Do you know what? 2 0 up. I'm going to switch to attacking. Let's go out and for the last 10 minutes, see what happens. Come on, poor, poor. It's Foreman though, he can hit one. He's not though, he's given to Mossy. Mossy can hit one. He's not done that either. Francis now, new kid on the block, gets tackled. Just show you how good the squad is at the minute. Here's White, finds Jose. Oh! Just show you how good the squad is at the minute that we can go all the way to a cup final and win it with a B team. Makes you pretty proud, doesn't it, eh? Pretty proud. Right. Francis to Moss, Moss to Foreman, Foreman. There we go, hey, Championis, we've won the League Cup. You see that little League Cup there? Bit of red and black confetti, comes down. Hey, hey, Can't grumble with that, can you? I think we deserved it. Way more chances there, more of the ball as well. Couple of debuts for a couple of the kids. It's gone perfect. All we need to do now He's beat Lisbon and get into the next round of the Champions League. So I played three games off camera just now and the first one was against Crystal Palace at home at the Sir Brett Dalton and we won 2-0. Two, two goals from Matt Shelley. I love Matt Shelley. Dominated it. Should have been about 10-0. When I went away to the empty hat, soon to be the Bretty hat. That'd be awesome if we could swap stadiums. Um, yeah. 0-0 nil, nil. and to be fair, we were lucky. But then Brighton came to the Sir Brett and we bought what them 4 0. Lammers, Forbid, Gamma, and the General all scored. Lammers with another 
man of the match. Well, we're second, which ain't too bad. Uh, everyone's played 30 games now, yeah. Uh, we're two points behind Chelsea, uh, which ain't that bad. I mean, we've dropped the pace a bit, obviously, with that draw. Um, Chelsea have come out of nowhere, really. I didn't, I didn't expect them to be this good. But we've only got eight games left of the league. So it's getting interesting. It's going to be bloody tight. But we've got Chelsea coming to the spread last game of the season. How awesome would it be if it came down to that game for the title? That would be a freaking content creator's dream. Okay, time for the third live comp. Sporting Lisbon, we're at home. Uh, we're favourites from really good form as well. So I'm confident, and I mean, I think we can go far in this, and we need to be beating teams like this, don't we? Welcome to the Subret Dalton, and this is the team lineups. It's a pretty good team, to be fair. Alonso starting out today on the left hand side, and apart from that, it's the number one team. I'm going to be assertive and serious from the start and I'm going to tell them I expect them, expect them to keep that run going. So let's get cracking, let's get on with this schnizzle. Here we come out of the tunnel, out of the Bood FM stand. Um, at the end of the year when I do the next shirt giveaway, the second prize will be to have the stand named after you. It's that stand there behind the goal. I think I'm, don't, don't get where I'm pointing because I always get it back to front. But the away stand is the Paul Maguire stand. I think that's that stand there you can see. Behind the other goal, is the stand that could be named after you. There we go, Lana's cutting inside, feds it through to bloody Gamma. Nice to the goal, four minutes in. Yeah, come on boys, settle the nerves. This is should just be a, you know, run of the mill. We should just be doing this, taking this game, controlling the game, winning the game, getting through to the next round, and wow, how did we not score then? I can't wait till we get someone good, hopefully, like a Real Madrid, Paris Saint-Germain. I love Paris Saint-Germain because them and Man City always buy the best players and Paris have got some awesome regions. Here's Santa Cruz, so it would be the ultimate test. While we're here, I'm going to give a cheeky shout out to one of my best friends in the community. He's one of the nicest guys in the community. He's New Zealand's number one content creator and it's Pat Kera. Check out his channel. Uh, you'll find a link to it down below. He's a proper nice guy. Uh, he deserves a lot more subscribers. He just, he's just his laugh alone just makes you want to fall in love with him and give him a big cuddle. Uh, so go check out his channel. Be a gentleman. Drop him a subscription. Uh, is Lisbon now on the attack? Elvers to oh good save from O'Donnell. Our time here at the Subret Dalton. Cheerleaders are putting in a bit of a show for you guys. Uh, yeah, I just think it's a, a case of getting through the next 45 minutes and finding out who we get in the next round. So I'm going to be assertive still. I'm just going to say first half means nothing if we don't keep it going. Blah blah blah. Who's that? Stressed? Colorado? You're coming off. Escratini's coming on. Come on. Come on! Let's get a third goal. Nice and early. I'm going to switch to attacking soon. That was a bad pass. Let me know down below. Are you enjoying the series still? I know it drops off views, but I don't care. Because I'm loving making it. Uh, are you happy with the league cut win? What do you think our chances are of doing the quadruple? We take one off. Uh, we've got Uddersfield in the next round of the FA Cup. If we win that with the semi-finals. Oh, Lammers. Come on. I've talked about this in the past. I won three trebles back to back with Manchester United once. Um, but I've never done the lot. I've played a lot of football manager. I've never won the League Cup, FA Cup, uh, Premier League and Champions League. So to do that would be pretty special. Especially to share it with you anyway. Right, come on lads. Here's uh, Ian Moss. Lovely pass to Alonso. Alonso now on the left. Great cross, great finish. Shelley. Shelley, Shelley. It's finding his feet again this year. World class. Also, we're going to go right at him. Why not? Switch to overload. Ooh, push forward again. And here we go. Straight on the attack. Lammers on the right hand side. This kid has just been something else this year. Lovely cross. Lovely finish. Winger to winger. You can't beat this team. And I have been campaigning all year to get him into the game for next year. So we can just play as um, Manchester Central. If they don't do it, I will be putting it, Manchester Central into a database and releasing it next year. I won't be doing a series with them, but a lot of you might want to play as Central, so we'll be making them. Um, I've just I've been in talking with with football manager, and um, the guy who liaises with me is keeps trying to talk to the research team and the planning team, and he keeps saying, "Consolation goal, mate." Right, Alonso now on the left-hand side. Can we get a last-minute goal? Lammers shoots it. Bit of a deflection. Keeper saves it. And that's full-time here at Subret Dalton. 4-1. Uh, what's that? 5-1 on an aggregate. Job done. Happy days. I'm happy with that. Brilliant performance. Really, really good. Some really good 
standout performances as well from some of the players. Loads of green. Let's go to the Champions League draw. It's big time Charlie time in it. Athletic Madrid, Hertha Berlin, probably the weakest team. Uh, Paris Saint Germain, Bayern, City, Monaco, Real Madrid. Bring them on, boys. Bring them on. Right, automatic draw. Let's see what happens. Which means Manchester Central at home against one of the greatest European teams of all time, Real Madrid. There you go. That is it. That is going to be episode 16. It has to be, doesn't it? Uh, double live come against Real Madrid in the quarterfinals of the Champions League. So there we go, that is it. Thanks for watching. It's the end of the episode. Hopefully you enjoyed those three games. Uh, we've got a bit of silverware and we're in the Champions League and we're playing Real Madrid. Don't get any better than that. Exciting times. The whole series is getting exciting. It's going to be freaking awesome going into the end of this year. Really am looking forward to it. The Premier League is fun. The Champions League, you've got the FA Cup. Seriously, I can't wait. So if you did enjoy it, smash that like button. If you are new, feel free to subscribe. Also, click the bell. You'll never miss anything I ever do. Check out the club shop. If you want to look as good as me, there's some really good stuff. You're helping out the club. And just make sure you get your beautiful face and peachy bottom back here for the next episode. I've been booed. You've been great. I'll see you next time.